Hi, I'm Karen McCandless. I work at Softonic as an editor, and I am going to show you how you can teach your children how to code, or if you don't know how to code yourself, you can easily learn through a nice little game. And here we go. So, this is the uh, this is called Scratch Junior. This is an app that, in a in an easy to use way, you can teach children how to code. You can uh, you can show them how to easily start their coding journey. So as you can see, it's got a nice uh, quirky user interface and uh, this is uh, a little cat who is the main star of, uh, of our video here. Um, he's, the, he's the main star within the, the coding world. So we start off with a, with a kind of blank page and we will create a project and to do that we will use these, this menu here and these building blocks and uh, using the cat and his friends there are various different animals we can, uh, we can create a, a nice um, line of code that will then turn into a fun, a fun project okay so let's start off so we we can uh, we can start off um, by pulling some building blocks down here. So this so this will move the our little cat right. So let's start off by moving him right. This will then move him left. So as you can see, if you're not sure what this does, you can click on them and it will tell you. So move up, move down turn right, turn left, and we can make our cat do lots of different things. So we can make him hop as well. And then what should we make him do next? And then he can go home. Okay, so these aren't the only options you have. This menu, you can make our lovely cat say hi. Or he can grow in size, or she, maybe the cat's a she. Um, or shrink in size, and as you can see, you just uh, you just put all of these building blocks together, and this, when you finally created your your line of code, will then make the cat do all these commands. So, should we have some sounds as well? You can have pop, or well, you can record your own sounds. And then we also have uh, an option to wait for ten seconds. So that'll be ten seconds of uh, of doing nothing. Or we can stop the cat in its tracks, as well as setting a speed. That's not there are there are then there's then the option if you want to repeat all of that, so that just will repeat in a loop. Um, and then of course we have to start our little cat at some point, so you can uh, choose when you want to start the cat's action. So let's choose to have him starting when we tap the green flag. Um, or you can, you know, start when you when you tap the cat, or bumping the cat, and a variety of different options. So this is uh, this is our first project here, as you can see down here. And so let's have a look at what the cat does when we tap the green flag. And there you go. You can see him moving through that. Um, but let's have uh, let's have um, some more. We don't just want uh, we don't just want one slide. Um, oh, here we go. We can we can annotate as well. So let's have the cat saying hello. It's a very happy cat. There we go. That's that done. Let's just uh, go back here. Um, we can also choose our backdrop. Um, where do you think the cat might be? I think that looks like a very nice beach. Let's put him on the beach, and then it's just a tick to uh, to apply the backdrop as you can see it's all very easy it's very user friendly and especially for children who are used to this kind of uh, you know this kind of setup used to touch screen devices um, it's pretty easy for them so so this helps you this option you can see the grid it helps you place your objects because you can move them it helps you, helps you place them in the right kind of areas here we go maybe the cat uh, should go there what do you think good area for the cat I think that'll be a good area for him. And uh, if you don't want it to be a cat, we can mm, we can maybe choose what what should we choose? 
Um, not entirely sure what this is, but I think this is oh, it's called tack. So it's, maybe we should choose tack, and we can add tack to our scene. And I think it looks almost like a jellyfish, so it's not a bad idea. But what should we have tack doing? Let's have tack moving around. Remember these options. If you want to find what, out what these options are, you just press on them. And so tack can move around and do various things like that. So or you can uh, change the amount of times. How many times? Let's have them doing it that eight times. Idiot? No, maybe not idiot, just eight. Okay, I'm doing that twice. I'm doing that six times. 66, no, just six. Um, and there we go, you can preview it. And there he's going. Off he goes, or she, or maybe it's a she. And then upside down. Okay, um, maybe we should have, let's have some, uh, where should we put you? There we go, we'll have some more, we'll have some more characters. Uh, what might you see? A beach, you can have people as well, you can have objects, stars, birthday cake, those different things. Um, so, uh, what should we have? This unusual creature that almost looks a little bit like a jellyfish, or we have a dragon, because you might see a dragon at the beach. That dragon is quite big, though he's dominating the whole place. No, oh, and he won't shrink. Okay, Jack Dragon. Let's actually get the dragon maybe have its own show, because the dragon is too big. Let's have the dragon and his friend, and his friend the cat. And let's choose backdrop. Um, where might a dragon be? A dragon's probably going to be in the sea, right? So there we go. Dragon is underwater. Underwater, a dragon and a cat, of course. That is what you're likely to see. What should we have the dragon do then? Um, I think we should have the dragon turning right. Um, hopping. Dragon definitely will hop. How many times will the dragon hop? Oh, let's see. He'll hop ten times. Or she. Um, and then what else? Um, dragon can move down. Not roll our room, move up. Um, what else? Um, the dragon can grow. Or should no, let's have the dragon shrinking because they're already quite big. So if I'm shrinking ten times. Oh, eleven times I'll do. Um, then we can have him saying hello. It's a friendly dragon. Um, uh, what else? Um, we will start on the green flag. There we go. Let's start. Let's have a look and see what dragon's going to do. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, shrink. Hello. And there you have it. And you want us to do it again to check out your work. There he goes. There he goes. Off he goes. And he said hi. And there he is. The dragon. Um, and if you want to just preview one step or start at a certain area, then you can just click on the bit. That'll start. Um, and let's add some background. Let's, let's uh, add some. Let's edit our cat. What do we want the cat to look like? Maybe we can. Well, you can actually take your photo. Let's see if this will work. Nope, I do not want to work. Oh, I got no, I got a photo of me. I'll take a photo of me, and I can have my face in the cat. Why not? There we go. That's Karen in the cat. Um, other things we can cut bits out. Oh, there it goes. Cat's gone. But I quite like the cat, so let's undo it and get it back. Um, so what should we do? We can we can draw. Draw boxes around him, or her. that's a female cat. Um, maybe we'll want to draw a triangle. Just some shapes, another triangle. Um, and yeah, moving, like moving, making more than one cat. Moving around, you can just play around with all these kind of things, and you know, get your cat exactly how you like it. All right, well, let's undo some of these things. I quite like my cat on my face in it. Um, there we 
go Karen and in the cat. And so that's that. And then you can uh, you can name your cat so um, name your project. So we just call this project one. Um, and so we will give our project a background, which I think probably be in the bedroom. There we go. Cats probably want to go to bed. Um, so let's play again. There we go. So you can see how easy this all is. Very straightforward and simple to pick up and lots of different projects you can make. You know, you can move your slides around if you want to start with a dragon. And you can do that, you know, add some more characters. Put your photo in 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 your animal's face. Um, should we add some more in here? Make this a little bit longer. Um, and we can actually add in a slide to finish. Let's go. There you go. The cat's saying hi. What else is cat doing? Waiting for ten seconds. Doing a bit of jumping, and then going on to see our next slide with cat and tack so um you can see it's a, a very easy way uh to put together these you know these uh these little projects um you just literally drag the building blocks down here to put together what kind of scenes you want and you know what you can you know move your characters around hey why is the dragon in here yeah, the dragon underwater anyway um, and you can yeah you can easily move all these kind of things around and do all kinds of editing if we want to change the the dragon's color or if we want to draw some shapes around the dragon or something on his head. And then when you finish, it's just a simple click. So it's all straightforward and really easy, and it gives uh, children or even adults a kind of idea of how you put together the building blocks that will then uh, that will then enable you to be able to build these kind of projects in real life. Okay, and you can just play around and, and change all kinds of different aspects, um, and it's fun and it's good for children because you've got all kinds of crazy characters. You can completely customize it. Um, and yeah, that's that's it. So hopefully it'll teach a really useful skill while being fun at the same time.